Okay, essentially you've got this formula, surface area for a cylinder with a height of 8 inches can be calculated by taking 2 pi times the radius plus the radius squared plus 16 pi r. And you're asked to solve for r, which would be the inverse function. Okay, there's two ways to do it, basically. Realize that we're quadratic in R, so we could set this equal to zero by subtracting A from both sides and then using the quadratic formula. A is the coefficient of R squared. B is the coefficient, whoops, this should have an R right here. Uh, the coefficient of R and A, C is the constant term. So R would equal the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of, and by the way, we'll reject either the plus or minus later, b squared minus 4ac all over 2l. Okay. Uh, you can complete that, but I think an easier way to do it is to actually just complete the square. So I rewrote it this way with the a on the right side, and I noticed that every term on Oops, I should have another R here. Uh, is divisible by 2 pi. So before I complete the square, I'll divide every term of this equation by 2 pi. That gives us this. Now I can complete the square to turn the left side into a perfect square trinomial. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Add 16 to both sides. Rewrite the perfect square trinomial as a binomial squared. Combine these two terms into one fraction by getting a common denominator, 32 pi over 2 pi. And take the square root of both sides. For now, I wrote plus or minus, r plus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of that. And subtract 4 from both sides. Notice that I rejected the negative because r has to be a positive number. If I had minus 4 minus the square root, r would be negative. Okay, so there is a formula for r in terms of a. r of a equals this. Okay, and if you use the quadratic formula, you'll get something that looks different but you can transform it into this, okay? There you go, hope that, and by the way, so if you wanna find R of uh, 150, you just put a 150 in there and use your calculator to solve for R. And 2.31, is what you get, but you round to the nearest decimal point, uh, the nearest, hundredth and 2.31 is correct. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.